sorry, on toolbox. Bubble on toolbox, router. And get bubble on porch, please. Thank you. All right, I think we're done flushing. Uh, have you flushed? Oh, you have flushed. Oh, okay. Uh, Roger. Yeah, we can stop that. Stop the flush. We wow. forgot the rock. That was a lot. That's fine. Whatever they get settled in. Sorry. Yeah, we we can do sampling uh, now. You want us to grab a rock? Yeah, we'd like to get. Try to figure out a decent spot here. All right, Annabelle, you want to grab a rock? Roger. Um, let me get everything all put away. I don't see anything enticing here yet. We'll be on standby. Yeah, keep on. Someone in the chat wants to know what would cause a piece of wood to sink like that. Would it just get waterlogged? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke and okay. an answer at the same time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see anything, Trevor? It might be gettable. Because I don't really mm. see it. All looks welded to the sheet Maybe load of the stone. Maybe down on the right, the potato-looking one. Bottom right corner. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's try that. All right, Annabelle, you can use bubble if you need. Roger. We can grab this potato. Which potato? Well, oh, maybe a little large. That potato, or? Uh, yeah. there, there it is. Oh, you, uh, let's see. Will that fit in the? Yeah, it's a chunky no, one. No, it's chunky. That's I don't chunky. think that'll fit. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep on keep it on. Yeah, it's okay to leave it over there, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> you want it to be in this little river? I, I, no, I don't want to, I mean, I'd rather not be in this nugget field. Okay. And this is all pretty much lava flow and pillow stuff yeah, that's in place. Yeah, it's welded, yeah. Ooh. This So it looks very welded too. Hmm. Oh, we'll see something again, so. There's these little like pockets full of nuggets. Nugget pocket. Ooh, this is a pretty cool on top of this uh, rock here. Oh, yeah. it's like hairy. Take a look there. It's hedgehog rock. <laughs> hedgehog rock. And a shrimp. Right, Dave, can you please zoom in on hedgehog rock? Or maybe it's a bunch of pocky. Ooh. Those what are, are pretty you? wacky. Wow. Wow. Uh, corn dogs. Do you want one? Yeah. Yes, we want should. Let's get a corn dog, wide, please. <laughs> Can I pick a corn dog? Maybe this. Yeah, you can pick a corn dog. Maybe oh. one of them with associate fauna. Uh, if we can, sure. Let's go here. And I think we can see 10 of them here, so this is a good one to get. Okay, you can bring up the craft. Roger. Is this going to be flexible enough to slurp? Like snip and slurp? Yes. Cool, that'll be your first snip and slurp, I think. First snip and slurp, yeah. So the goal is we're going to snip it, put um, it there, and I'll turn we, Can we do a, a good zoom before collecting to have yeah, no problem. good images? You can get the arm close. And then we'll, before we snip it off, we'll. Uh, where are we in. looking at? We're looking at the center one. Um, center hey, right. Anything about that one? I don't know. I'm just trying to. I help. think we want to add the uh, associate on the top. Yes. The little oh, pink okay. associate. Yes. Can we get a little bit of a zoom here? So I'm as far right as I can go with the camera. This one? We're yep. going for the, the pink one. There, yeah. Are, you clear for, are we clear for snipping? That's a question to the back row. You got your zoom, we can snip? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, go for it, Annabelle. It almost looks like he's eating the uh, corn dog. Wouldn't you? Oh, uh, I love <laughs> corn dogs. Is that good? Uh, go deeper in the jaws. Keep going. Oh. You got to get it in the snip part. So 
keep them. Lordy, keep them lordy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well. Well. <laughs> we're there. We're there now. So keep the grip locked and bring it up. And full wide, please. Video. Oh, good. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's fine. Now you can stick the end of that inside the suction hose. And in the meantime, I'm going to leave. Bye. Roger. Bye. Bye-bye, Hedgehog Rock. Corn Dog Rock. So you can... Uh, what should I name this? You can line that up. This is 174. Call for zooms if you need them. Then the name? Roger. Single uh, stocked white sponge. Can I get a bit sponge. of a zoom? Okay. An associate. The associate is a crinoid. Four. What jar? Can we do okay. three? Yes. Number three. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ready to ready for suction. All right. Uh, is is now the time to turn it on? Whenever you think you're in there, you can get more zoom if you want. Okay, Roger. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start go for going it. on. Should I let go? Not yet. Okay, now try to feed it in as much as possible. If you're gonna have to go down with it. Oh no. You got it. Yeah. Nice, nice job. Keep going. Keep doing that. And a little bit more before you let go. Could little. you zoom out a little? Yeah, just right there. Is that good? That's great. Yeah, you can let go there. That's fine. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Good okay, job. full wide, please. Excellent. Um, I've been reading up on Wood Falls just now. Okay, and put that craft away. I don't know. Do you know much about them, Maronke? I can't talk right now. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Looks like it might be hung up in that curve there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're still the right at the. Uh, yeah, we'll flush it. It is in jar, whatever the jar. Oh, it was. is. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's also some in there, so. Buoy, you know. Craft is secure. Thank you. You're lined up for flush. You can turn on the flush jar. Let's do the same, same, same. Yep. Ready to flush. <coughs> Thanks. Uh, how's Atalanta doing? <laughs> That's all right. It's all right? OK. OK, I can talk now, and the answer is no. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but it's interesting what Paula was saying earlier about them having chemosynthetic. Yeah. Um, activity like yeah. bacteria on them so it says that they have um, chemosynthetic bacteria that's very similar to those found at hydrothermal vents um, and I found like a little mm, more, more of that bacteria illustration uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry to sponge. More, more of that uh, um, and I, sponge. Sponge. I found a um, cool diagram that kind of goes over all that like chemosynthesis stuff at the wood falls so the cool. one of the scientists at SACO suggests that it could be a desmo sponge, uh, possibly Piloderma, in the family Dendricellidae. Thanks, SACO. It's kind oh. of farther. We'll see if it makes it all the way. Oh. All right, I gotta actually drive this thing too. <laughs> Chat asks, do the ROVs have microphones? Uh, no, Hercules is very, very loud, so we just hear it like humming. What's it sound like, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> Were you not awake before? I feel I like it's been a very eventful, like. 20 minutes. He's so good at video, he can do it in his sleep. <laughs> True, you've been zooming. Well, I don't want to go to school, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so uh, there's some science caught in the hose. Okay. From the last sample? Yes. Okay. Likely, yes, likely, yes, likely. I don't think it means the suction's out of commission. It just means that part of that sponge might end up in the next sample. Okay. So just be aware of that. I think it's. I think it'll come free. It moved a little bit when we wiggled the hose, mm -hmm. but it is not all the way in there. Noted. Yeah, so it's interesting, this uh, boot falls ecosystem, they attract a lot of fauna uh, and there are uh, organisms that are specific, adapted to live in these ecosystems. We have a, perhaps a holothurium. Oh, you still want a rock too, don't you? Yeah, it still doesn't look very promising, but... Um. Yeah, the, illustra in, please? the illustration I found about the wood falls has a ROV have doing a push core sample by one. Nice. Which ROV is it? Mm, I don't think you can tell by the... Yeah. It's just the claw. Yeah, I had a cruise one time where we, uh, Janet Voigt at the Field Museum in Chicago, we went out and uh, put down pieces of wood down at the Endeavor Field. All right, thank you. And they're going to go back and look at it, see how long it takes for things to colonize. That's cool. Um, what's a demo sponge? So a demo uh, sp sponge are a phylum. Phylum are categories of animals um, that possess a combine of characters. And a sponge porifera includes um, desmo sponge, um, cal calcare sponge, and exactinellida. And those sponges are different depending on the skeleton and the spiculus. So desmo sponge are basically um, sponges with uh, silica spicules, but they have also fibers of uh, mm -hmm. proteins. And they made this uh, squishy um, anatomy. And so the desmo sponge are the one we use for, for during the bathroom. Oh. Cool. Yeah, someone in chat said we're chilling in Des Desmo Sponge land. So the majority of the sponge we are seeing in the deep sea are extractinellida sponge that are glass sponges. Mm -hmm. And the, the um, spicules form this kind of uh, net of uh, silica silical uh, spicules. And yeah. Fish? Fish? In the cinema can? Oh, yeah. I'm not even going to try with the main one. Way too far away. And the wrong direction. These rocks aren't what you're looking for, eh? No, not yet. Okay. Still nuggety. What about that one that's coming into view? The top center. No. No. That was two hours of nothing and then three samples in the span of ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there was four samples in the span of ten minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for the for the, the processing. The, I'll the be mollusk, right? Yeah. And maybe we can find another organisms inside of the, the wood. holes. So yeah. Yeah. We probably will find isopods or amphipods. I think I saw a bunch of isopods swimming away when we like snipped the wood. Yeah, the wood full is definitely the coolest thing I think we've seen personally. I, I, <laughs> I, I agree. I was going to say, do you I think... I was most excited by that. <laughs> do you think um, your luck of whale falls kind of brought on that wood fall for us? I definitely... I'll take credit, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give get you a credit prize? for that. <laughs> so that first squatty we sampled was also on a tiny little wood fall. Yeah. Mm. And nobody believed me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us now. Shrimp. <laughs> I agree with you. Back. 
I agree with you though, Morongi, that was really cool. Yeah. I wish we could have stayed longer. Especially because I was looking at it and had no idea what I was looking at at first. But it resembled a fallen tree trunk in a forest with a bunch of mushrooms coming <laughs> out of it. Now you get a taste for me looking at literally everything under here. <laughs> Another shrimp. Except for the shrimp. I know what those are. What is this? <coughs> this sponge. Is He's it, lining it up it's for just cinema cam. Deceased. Just spiky. How does that fiberglass this? look? Ugh. Yeah, this is an impressive wall of lava here. Should yeah. Be. All right, that's enough of that Main silliness. Ones. And you know, to in addition to the the wood fall, that um, rock wall dike structure was Neat. also very yeah. impressive. That was I really think. cool. I think that was also very cool. Mm -hmm. I wish we had gone that way instead of 90 degrees to it. <laughs> Could have followed it longer. Do same, same, same. Been amazing. But then we wouldn't have Thank seen you. the wood. It's true. Everything happens for a reason. Interesting. Another sponge with hydroids. Is it an Ichabod? Yep. Ick. What about? Yeah, can we look up in here for something? If there's like a rock? Yeah, if there's a gettables. Sure. You can get ready for it. Roger. Uh, do I need to come up on Delta a little? Um, I'm pretty stretched out, so I'll watch it. Roger. While we're sampling. Anything crying out to you here? I can't really see the, oh, there are the dots. I mean, is there anything down in here? The shape looks good. I think we can grab that round yeah. looking one. Like uh, this one, the right right laser. Yeah, that may be a little chunky, but you know, e e e e those are or that one R? somewhere in there. And there's actually a couple up there that are gettable. Craft. Actually, there's a number of them in there. Roger. Make sure it's in view before you move it. That's a great idea. Um. Yeah, I think we can poke around here for a bit. We have a few minutes. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in here that are about 10 centimeters of work. Yeah, okay. All right, pick your favorite to start with. And then we'll uh, let's, let's start with this one. That one, Roger. We've been having luck with the round ones that aren't nuggets. One and done. That's a beautiful shot on Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Dave, can we get a little Atlanta zoom, please? I'll try and keep it centered up here. Uh, looks, I think that's too okay. big. Too big? I, think, I don't know. Yeah. I think we can try. I think we can try. I think it, I think it'll go. She'll go. You don't like go? it? I think it'll fit in, yeah, A, B, C, D. Yeah, we'll just like use that. it. Yeah. That's really cool. A, C, and D are open. Alpha, Charlie, Delta. Ready for sample? Oh, I suppose I gotta open the thing, don't I? No, I don't know. <laughs> Heard that helps. And then I can tell that Atlanta camera down. Oh, we gotta fix that bolt. This one? Is this? No, this is beta. We have Bravo is, is Bravo's here. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Which ones are we looking at, Veronke? We are looking at A, B, C, or D. Well, any you can do them. any of them. Yeah, they're all open. Any? We do have something. No, no, in nothing but B. Sorry, huh? my mistake. We could fit it in B, but we don't need to. So let's we not. We don't need to. How's this one? Well, this one's that one's great. That one might be Bravo. Pull. Over a little bit. 
There we go. That is B. You don't want to put it in, in B. B. Anyone oh. but that one. Anyone but that one. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Like that one? It's probably probably C. That's good. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Could it fit in E with the scoop? Or does the scoop take up too much space? You can you can fit it in there. In here? Oh, in, in E. Yeah, go in E. I think it would fit in C. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Well, it's in there. There we go. <laughs> but will it fit? Will it fit? In here? Yeah, that's good. Roger. Can you come wider in Atalanta, please? Thank you. I'm going to keep the arm over here just in case. Oh, she'll, she'll go. She'll go. Okay. She'll go. Yeah. She'll go. And we got to go too. We've caught up on a few of the the nuggets so far. Were they like, were you sat, oh. were you satisfied with what we saw in them? What, what are you kind of looking for in the Secure. nuggets? Mm -hmm. All right, you can take over. I'm not sure please. if there's a satisfied, Winching. unsatisfied sort of aspect. It's just uh, to see what they are. I mean, the more recent ones that have been more typical of what we've seen in the past, whereas the first two dives are kind of just odd. Pieces I don't know of flex. who this mouse belongs to, but it's been kicking around a little bit. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Keep coming up, please. Roger. Coming up on Delta. So you're just trying to see what's inside of them. You're not really, like, yeah. trying to see for something as specific as what you're trying to see for in, like, the bigger rocks that no, are picking. No, we're just, we're just, I mean, we know they're small, and there's a really oh. poor chance that they will actually get dateable rocks. From the nuggets. Yeah. This good for Delta? Yeah, I'm getting out in front now. Roger. I think we should. All right. Yeah, we can do a reset. Yeah, let me, let me uh, get out a little more ahead. Of course. And then we'll do that, no problem. Roger, pil Pilodermis <coughs> sponge. Hedgehog rock sponge, corn dog sponges. Oh, a big oh. shrimp. Cool. Big old shrimp. Oh, I guess we want this one, don't we? Okay, I'm gonna hold here, Elias. Okay. Let's go for E. Ready. Thank you. Good. Wonderful. Perfect. Thank you. Cross. I wonder how long it takes. Well, let me ask that question differently. Do you think that the woody debris, do you think we can find out what species of wood it is? What species of tree it came from? Oh, that's an interesting question. I'm betting palm. <laughs> so what was the question again? Can we find out what species of tree that woody debris comes from? Uh, ooh. From there, figure out the origin of the of the tree itself. Perhaps that would be amazing. Can you carbon date it? <laughs> yes. We totally. can figure out how long ago it it uh, was cut down or fell down or whatever. Yeah, I think. Uh, and also, you could um, study the zoom. The yeah, um, go ahead, zoom in there, please. Each Phenology. Squatty. Squatty. <laughs> we getting it? Uh, same, no. Same, same okay. Please. No, we we have several of the. Okay. Of okay. This. 
Thank you. Species of coral. So I'm looking for another coral species uh, association. Roger. Perhaps if we, if we find a Iridogorgia with a squatty or any other Chrysogorgia different than this. It's very interesting how uh, different are sea mounts in terms of the diversity and the abundance yeah, of different species. Compared to yesterday. Compared to <laughs> yesterday, yeah. Um, Paula, can you say the name of the what we're calling corn dog sponges again? The um, the <laughs> the hedgehog rock sponges. Yeah. The single stalk. Could be. Piloderma or Piloderma, P Y. I, I figured it out. Yeah, Piloderma. Okay. Piloderma. No, we have more of them here too. And then the sporal one was um, being with an S, right? The spon The other one is um, Stellodorix. Stellodorix. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Piloderma. Stalodarics. Potentially, because potentially, you never yes. know. An asterisk, potentially. <laughs> Piloderma Stalodarics. <laughs> Is that Harry Potter's spell? That sent me a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Wingardium <laughs> Leviosa. Sponge Guardian Leviosa. Oh. Do we have a, a cap coral? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Or is it nothing? Ooh. It's a rocket. <laughs> yes. yeah. Can we zoom in the nothing, please? Go ahead, Dave. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Confirmed. OK, thank you. Thanks. Just a rock. So we're going to map the sea, entire seafloor by 2030. How long until we ROV dive the entire seafloor? <laughs> <laughs> hey, swear <God. laughs> By thirty thirty? I think maybe we can dive one full entire sea mount. Maybe two. Yeah, or no, we, we dive can. the whole ocean by thirty thirty. I think so. We have a massive yeah, what is glass this? sponge. Glass sponge? Yeah. Treptoplera? It's not going to be our own generation. Wow, <laughs> nice shot. Beautiful. Or, yeah, it's a Treptoplera, I think. White wow. Tea. Beautiful cinema cam. Yeah, I might highlight this just because it's a nice, it's, it's pretty. Treptoplera? T R E T O P L E U R A. Treptoplura? Treptoplura, that's the genus. I probably spelled it wrong anyway, but close enough. Snip. Where do the heads go? Just in the breeze? Probably just down below. I mean, it, that may be part of the woody debris from there. There's a couple bits down there. Mm -hmm. Spongy debris, you mean? Oh, yeah. Well, we finally met Woody Debris. We finally met him. Yeah. We've been talking about Woody Debris this whole cruise. Yeah, the corn dog's all over the place now. <laughs> it's like a baseball game here. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the <laughs> state fair. I don't know if this should be called um, Sporal Town Mountain. It might be Corn Dog Town Mountain. What if? Sporal Town State Fair. <laughs> oh, Sporal Town State Fair, yeah. Oh. The Sporal Town State Fairgrounds. <laughs> mountain. <laughs> Sporal Town State Fairgrounds Mountain. Yes, of course. Always gotta add the mountain. Yeah. Why do people watch us? <laughs> <laughs> chat, why do you why do you watch us, chat? Or well, chat, do you watch us and you can't answer this if you do. Do you watch us on mute? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do. <laughs> if someone writes in yes, I'll be very confused. Chat, answer the question. 
<laughs> we actually get a lot of compliments about our our banter. sparkling wit. <laughs> our sparkling wit, yes. All I can think of is corn dogs. Yep. Mm. Man. Never liked corn dogs. You ever uh, hear them called crusty pups? Crusty pup? <laughs> crusty yes. pups? No. Oh. That's interesting. They could even be churro-like, too. Oh, what? Churros. Ooh, churros. But these look like corn dogs on a stick. Have you ever had a gourmet corn dog? What? Nope. Like, oh, like the Korean one? Like proper cornbread around a really good sausage? Uh, maybe. Instead of the ones from the cardboard box in the freezer aisle? Like, I'm talking a proper corn dog? <laughs> oh. I, like I think I have. Otherworldly. I only get them at the fair. I'm not sure what they are. I... Not I need gourmet, to give a corn dog a second chance because I haven't had one in a really, really long time. But I was, I'm with Maronke that I don't think I'm a fan. You they're, dip them in mustard? There are mm. Korean oh, corn yeah. dogs, and those have all sorts of different flavors and batters. They're quite up there in terms of how gourmet a corn dog can get. <laughs> oh, shrimp. Shrimp. A lot, a lot of Chris and Gorgie here, too, kind of small. Chat's answering us. They say we watch because we're entertained. Funny science people. So, <laughs> so witty banter. Y'all are hilarious. Roger, go ahead and zoom, please. I'm gonna keep getting closer too. Zooming on a Christ of Gorgia. With a squatty in it. Probably Europe take you. Europe take us for sure. European tycoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the <laughs> eyes. It's, it's amazing count. how all the colonies have um, uh, a squadion. A guardian. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks. So, is that, uh, what kind of symbiosis is that? Well, I would say commensal, because we don't know if the squad is uh, giving any benefit to the coral, probably, because we don't know what they are eating what is the primary resource for, for their food. But I suspect that um, they are helping to get uh, predators away. Hmm. Like they defend the coral from things that might eat it? Like a sea star maybe? Yeah, but this is a hypothesis, so. That would I mean, be cool. Uh, the, the corals don't look like they're struggling with yeah. the squats on them. Well. And we don't see many sea stars. What other in things those, can predate right? them? Well, in those, right? In any of them. I mean, we haven't seen any sea stars in this, many, yeah. this dive, or this uh, watch, anyway. What other things we can predate We've seen them? some in bamboo corals, right? Who eats that? Oh, the brittle stars, or the? the, um, the no, the regular stars, the predatory okay. stars. Okay, okay. Hm. But in, it's true yeah. that in golden corals, we we don't see many, right? That's another one of those. It's not by one, do <coughs> what type of rock is this? Uh, it's still a lava, you know, volcanic. No, I meant basalts. what? Pillows. They're pillows. Yeah, these are all pillows. I'm gonna change. Yeah. yeah. That's not a tube. That's fine. Yep. A pillow well, tube. Well, I mean, that that could be a tube up there. Is that what you're thinking yeah. of? Yeah. Gauge check. Are we grabbing any of these things? No, no. Okay. That's no, how he was telling me about the tubes. Please, let's do five zero meters. Yeah, check it 42. All right. Sure. Speed. Uh, the last one was at 54. Well, well, Hasn't yeah. even been an hour. That's fine. No, great. Okay. Anytime you think of it and we have the time, that's it fine. It feels like a convenient time to be that's doing that. Sounds perfect then. Someone, or Veronica in the chat said they watch for the fear of missing out in the Trevor comedy show. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone does put us on mute when they're working in the background, mm. so it's not overly distracting, but they unmute when we're sampling something or spot something cool. Why is everyone quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the next Trevor comedy show to come around. Sneaking up on the next animal. Be very quiet. Be very, very quiet. What's interesting is We're there's a lot squatties. of spongy debris that looks like the glass spongy debris. 
but all the a majority of the sponges here are those demo 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 corn dog demo sponges mm -hmm. so in the past it was glass sponge dominant maybe yes and now it's that's not that's true we have a nice colony um, here this one is all yeah yeah so Go ahead, please. There's a squat on and, every colony uh, come here. Come up on your delta, please. Yeah, out of tagless. Hannibal, come up on delta. Oh, Roger, you. coming up on delta. Hardest yeah, part of gauge checks is watching the non-gauge things. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thanks. Another one over here. Yep. Yeah. What are it's the odds? pretty big that. They're neighbors. I yeah. Howdy, neighbor. <coughs> I guess they wouldn't ask to borrow a cup of salt because you're in the ocean. <laughs> Isn't it usually salt? sugar? Neighbors ask to borrow sugar. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Depends on if you like them or not. I wouldn't ask for salt from a neighbor I didn't like either. No. A cup of salt, that's a lot. <laughs> <coughs> What are you going to do with that? Make cookies. So, shrimp. Make cookies and then feed them to your neighbor? <laughs> yeah, that, that I don't like, that I just got the salt from. <laughs> Here, thanks for letting me borrow the salt. Here are some cookies. When I was a kid, I April Fool's pranked my grandfather by switching the sugar for the salt in the morning coffee. Oh, <laughs> he just poured, it, scooped it out of the sugar bowl, right in the coffee, drank it. <laughs> Did Gross. he enjoy the prank? Later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a dying, not wisteria sponge? Walteria. Let's <laughs> tick. <laughs> or is it a sponge stock with the hydroids? I. I vote for the second Hi. of the hydroids. I am thinking hydroids now the ladder. Definitely not Walter. And a little fish. <laughs> Looks like the base of a Treptoplera. Trumpet player? Treptoplera. The hydroids are really cool. Yeah. Uh, All right, thank get you. Get check finished. Roger. Well, it looks like it was snipped off pretty evenly, yeah. if I say so myself. During our planning dive. Dress rehearsal? Yeah, exactly. Some hydroids are very poorly studied. I was checking on some species yesterday and in a, the particular group of species I was reading about, the last species was described in 1892. Wow. Nobody described any new species in that. How, really? Yeah. How do you 1892? pick? 1892? Yes. Wow, that's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> How do you pick what you're going to study? Depending on funding, material available, um, so what led you to squat lobsters? I did a squat lobsters because in the lab where I was working, there was a, a researcher working with them, and they offered me the project, and it sounds really cool. And I and you kind of fell in yeah, love with them. Yeah, I I got attracted by the project. And it can go the other way around, too, because I knew I wanted to study hydrothermal vents, so I tracked down researchers in Canada that did hydrothermal vents. And there aren't that many of them. Hmm. But that's why I ended up at the University of Victoria instead of UBC, because UBC doesn't do deep sea. Hmm. What about you, Rob? Oh. I let the wand find me. Oh. <laughs> the wand? <laughs> Geology wand? 
the rock wand. It's, it's a, a Harry Potter. <laughs> you put the hat on your the head and it goes, geology. Yeah. geology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to, st to study deep sea animals, so when they offered me to, st to study squat lobsters, then I saw so many new, so many new species to I mean, to with, describe. with squats, you got the best of both worlds, because they're pretty shallow too, right? There are a lot of shallow species, but most of the diversity are found in continental shelves and in deep sea waters. But there are around 200 species in shallow coral reefs yeah those are usually like those cool colorful ones right yeah we zoom on this brown debris please spongy debris is it spongy i'm excited for more wood no, it looks sponge. like wood no, spongy sponge, never sponge. mind the excitement in your voice i know more right, thank you. <laughs> the boot so, so was so cool. It was very cool. I had no uh, idea what I was looking at. It was amazing. <laughs> it's funny how, you know, wood, a thing that every single person sees in their lifetime. And we're more excited about that than sponges, which most people don't get to see in their lifetime. We've seen it, enough. It wasn't yeah. the wood that was exciting. It was like the bustling, hustling city life around the, the wood. Gastropods and the big crabs. Yeah. And, and Beating uh, frenzy. And how they somehow found it in the big ocean, right? That is pretty impressive, yeah. I wonder the the big tubes. Yeah. Mm. What is that? I'm, I'm excited to see the could sample. They be, in the lab. Could they be like a worm or a mollusk? They or could something? be a, a mollusk, a worm. I was thinking worm because it kind of looked like the casings that two yeah. worms on yeah, vents are found in as yeah. well. It was interesting. Um, and. For you chatters, we are 2,280 meters below the surface. We Is this different or same same species that we are? Let's find out. Zoom in, please. Oh, on the go. There yeah, it very similar. Thank you. All right, thanks. Although they seem the, uh, the same thing, but when you're studying the morphology, you find that there are several species that look, the that look very similar. And the same happens with the corals and with the sponges as well, I guess. Mm. And Some squat lobsters are like spiky, right? So you can't re even really tell from these cameras if they're exactly, spiky or not. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Rob, chat's giving you a taste of your own medicine right here. Oh, good. <laughs> Is Rob trying to say that he's a rockhead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? The nickname's Doc Rock. Doc Rock. Doc oh. Rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a clean double entendre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Beautiful trait of Plera. <laughs> Another one. No, Stephanie, I mean, what I like to research is I like to... I'm an exploration geophysicist, so I try to use different tools to explain why we see some features on the seafloor, or the evolution or the history of how they got there. But I also like all sorts of data, bringing different types of data together. So I, I've done atmospheric chemistry, I do coastal circulation, and I do deep biosphere studies as well too, but it's all data and data points that I like to analyze. See, I've been sitting next to you for a month and this is the first I'm comprehending of that, so. Cool. What kind of data things do you bring together that would otherwise not be brought together? Well, I mean, one of the things I'd, I've done is I've calculated the uh, total number of microbes in the ocean sediments. Whoa. And, uh, what? And there are 10 to the 29th microbes, our estimate. And you have to think there are 10 to the 22nd uh, stars in the sky. So. That's a huge difference. Yeah. And then I just finished doing a calculation for the oceanic crust as well. Shrimp. What do you what do you calculate about the crust? How long it takes to toast? <laughs> <laughs> well, the crust is actually two orders of magnitude lower, and everyone had thought before that it was like the largest ecosystem for microbes. But uh, based on my estimates, and by definition, a geophysicist is someone who would rather calculate than be right. 
So we just take that in mind. So you do a lot of math. Yeah, long division. <laughs> so you weren't kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> how, how do you go about calculating the microbes in the sediment? Well, we have different drill cores. Uh, and with the, we have people do cell counts in, in the different sediment, different depths. And what we realized that there's a, a relationship as a function of depth in the sediments okay. that was very predictable. And that rate or that, that relationship correlated with distance from the shoreline mm -hmm. as well as uh, sea surface chlorophyll. Wow. And so I just used those two. It was a multivariate analysis. So I just used those two parameters to create an estimate for a global estimate. Very cool. So of course it's an estimate and it might change with more data. How far, how much do you expect it could change with more data as more data collection goes on? Uh, it's, 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 really, it's hard to say. I mean, what, what we identify through this is we have big gaps in our knowledge. Sure. And, and so it's basically what we identified is a lot of stuff is happening near the coastlines. So it's kind of like getting an estimate of uh, population in the United States or Canada by just looking at the coast because that's where all of our data was before and not okay. going into the interiors. That would skew it quite a lot, I think. Yeah. And so that's what we did. We were able to, because uh, everyone else said it was like what we jokingly say, it's turtles all the way down. So it's the same everywhere. But we actually realized that it wasn't as, and so our, our estimate reduced it by about an order of magnitude, which in geologic terms and geophysical terms, that's, that's what we're interested in. So you think you're within an order of magnitude of accurate? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good estimate, realistically. And what's nice is it provides a prediction of what you should see other places. So it's, you know, it's there ready to be tested. Hmm. Are you counting how many different kinds of microbes or just no. individual numbers? It's of just microbes? a critter. Okay. To me, I mean, I don't care what it is, just a critter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you do care about the bio? No, it's just a data point. Okay. Just like, <laughs> just like well, you, you are to me is a data point. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of those. What were the worms? The arrow worms? Acorn worms? No, the, the ones. The methods? The ones that. Um, the floaty ones? The hang from the string yeah, I like and those. kind of. Yeah. I think they were called arrow worms. Yeah. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of those in the cinema cam. Aren't those ketonats? Ketonats. Oh, okay. Yes. They're scary looking. Yeah. Ugh. Did you say, oh, okay. I thought you said Moronke. No. That's why I said, yes. I was yawning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's not all about you, Moronke. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know. Go back to your data corner. <laughs> oh. Listen. I'm, I'm keeping track of everything here. I'm kidding, Maronka. You're, you're the best. Slack. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, I'm safe. <laughs> you guys need to be more nice. <laughs> Thank you, Elias. Data logging is a hard job. It's, I assume data logging is actually pretty stressful. Oh, it is, That's especially when you're piling samples one after the other. <laughs> That's and the only also time. seeing something really exciting. Yeah. That that is the toughest job I think, besides being a pilot, of course. But uh, no, in the back row, different kinds <laughs> of hards. As long as you can type fast and have a good memory, because sometimes when we're moving quickly, you just have to store things in your head and then type them out yeah, in I ain't, sequence. Yeah, I ain't doing that. There's no way. <laughs> or spelling. Nope. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or knowing what things are. Nope. Can't no. do that either. <laughs> I think we all fit our jobs uh, roles here perfectly. I think so. Yeah. Um, Rob, they say they're stunned by what you do. The chat. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually did uh, cloud particles at one point too. How many drops of water are in a cloud? No, what's, what's interesting is that uh, it seems that diesel powered ships leave higher albedo tracks and stratus clouds and so if someone is ever interested to in see where ships are going navy uh and you have stratus clouds it's a way to track 
or wow. maybe ways to hide where you're going because satellites often can't see through. Hmm. And it ended up it was uh, the diesel particles were, you know, causing the water to uh, coalesce on the particles much more frequently than just sea salt. And so you could actually see white streaks in the clouds where the diesel ships went. Wow. So we were flying in uh, C-130s and C-131s doing air samples or cloud samples. Breach, huh? And we'd uh, get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and debrief and we'd have a U-2 plane flying overhead, a spy plane, to get all the pictures and information. So it was a really, really interesting project. Please, let's do the same, yeah. same please. What kind of software do you use to model that stuff? I, you know, I'm, I get lazy. I should be using MATLAB, but I go to shell scripting. Shell Unix scripting? shells. Wow. Um. A seashell or a bash shell. Really? Wow. I mean, that seems harder than MATLAB. That's hardcore, really. Yeah. Uh, not, not really. It's hardcore, it's, huh? it's lazy. Yeah, okay. Go with what you know. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. A lot of hours in the C-130? Not that much. It was surprising. Oh, really? I mean, a lot of the stuff we did, we used the UW plane huh. that was uh, up near the, where they, the Boeing place. Yeah. So we'd go up there and uh, work, you know, get things set up there. And then we all worked out of the Naval Postgraduate School down in uh, Monterey. Okay. So I came back from an Alvin crew who's got an email message saying, Rob, are you interested in playing volleyball in uh, Carmel? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> So I spent a good chunk of the summer in Carmel doing that project. It was great. Wow, cool. I've flown into Herc several times. It's, uh, it's interesting. We took a long flight. We, took, uh, we flew from Anchorage to uh, Juneau over the Gulf of uh, That's cool. Alaska. And uh, you, know, you get settled in and uh, you've got four engines that are just almost in sync. <laughs> but I did get to sit in the jump seat when we shot the approach into Juno. Well, that's cool. That was very cool. Pilots kicked me out just before landing. Yeah, so the, any, the only engineering thing I ever did, I think, is I created a, a filtering manifold for that project. Hmm and then uh, programmed it up with LabVIEW, which was a lot of fun. Interesting. Is that the moon on the deck frog? I think so, yeah. Yes, it is. The moon's very bright right now. It is the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it is the sun. Night sun. <laughs> Bouncing off the moon. <laughs> One of my favorite plays. What? What? Romeo and Juliet? Night Sun? Oh. No, Kiss Me Kate or Taming of the Shrew. Oh, yeah. There's a fishy ahead of us, too. Is there? Yep. See it in the uh, Atalanta cam. Oh. 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 Is I think that's a spongy. I think that's a sponge. Is it a spongy debris? Yeah, I think it's this I think oh. it's a spongy sponge. Did this one, oh, right? there it is. Okay. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a big fish. It's very still and spiny yeah, like. I want it to be a. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. It's a Let's have a fish one. zoom. Please. See, I told you. Go ahead. <laughs> bonk? No, no bonk. It's hanging out by the, the sponge with the hydroids, which the other one kind of was too. That's, that's the oh, it's got a little whatever. buddy. Oh, oh, the isopod. Oh. Along for the ride. Where are you going, buddy? He'll be okay. That's a I'm big isopod for yeah. a little fish. I remember one time I asked how things get from one seamount to another, but this is how. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the isopods can swim still. Yeah, but this is easier. Fish bus, you know? Yeah, fish bus. Yeah. Why walk when you can take the fish bus? That's more like a fish golf cart. It's well. very lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think about how many larval stages are floating in the water. That's why I don't yep. swim. Yeah, just waiting for something to latch yep. on to. That's why I don't swim in the ocean. There was a, before we saw the fish, there was a coral in the shape of a cross. It was weird. Or not a coral, a sponge. 
If you swam in the ocean, it would throw off your count. It was not a squirrel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's funny, the, the number of microbes on the ocean is about the same as on the sediments. Huh. Wow. That's surprising. A, that's, so you're not talking, okay, are uh, benthic creatures? No, the ones just that live? microbes. Only microbes, okay. And 8 to 12, I'm, I'm impressed after a slow start. We're making really good time along here. You just didn't stop? Wow, we haven't even made it to waypoint 2 yet. Remember the time well, you wanted to grab a rock? No, I usually do it. Uh, oh, yeah, I usually do about the top of the hour. Yeah, let's do one. <laughs> a rock? Yeah. At the top of the hour? That, that's what I've been kind of doing every hour, getting a rock. I don't know. Well, just when we said that, they all just got welded. I know. <laughs> what they about knew. this one, right? Uh, He's talking about that one right there. There. That one. That one. Go for it, Annabelle. Roger. Mm. Uh, am I ready to enable craft? Sure. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> Famous last words. Me not putting a bubble cam on, apparently. There we go. I think uh, the middle one, the, middle the small one. one. Yep. Is that, that okay one. with you? Yeah, that's fine. Can I get a zoom? Here we are back at the operation game again. Take out wrenched ankle. Yeah. I bet you can't get this. I mean, these are all welded. Mm -hmm. The little micro one is not. Whoops. Which one where? The, no, the micro one's too small to grab. Yeah. Try, try prying it with the uh, with the jaws closed like that, yeah. Get a little grabby grab. Oh, look at you. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh. Eek. Oh, oh it's good. Oh, oh, it's one more. loose. It moved, Jerry. Like squished okay, come wide, two. please, and get out of there with the arm. I'm gonna move closer. Yes. You almost need to push the one to the right away. Okay, go ahead. You can do what you'd like. I'll try to line you up. And yeah, I go for a zoom. Slippery little devil. It's a little wider than it looks, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think it flares out a funny way. Yeah, there you go. Go for a big grab. Oh, oh my gosh. That's it on top there. You dislodged it. Yeah. Nice. Boop. Sure, great. Like a little scavenger hunt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready for a rotate whenever you are. How's that looking? Perfect. Nicely nice. Can we get a zoom out? This is 176. Thank you. Thank you. And it can go in A, C, or D. Can we get the uh, sample? Thank you. Here we go. Oh, 
This one? Is that? Yeah, that's good there. Perfect. That's C? That's C, yeah. Okay. It's not in yet. Okay. There it is. All right. Charlie. Yep. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job. Roger. Bringing the arm back. Chat wants to know why that isopod was sitting on the fish. Was it just hitching a ride or is it parasitic? It's parasitic and it's is it eating? Feeding, feeding on the flesh. Yep. Ooh. Really? It's Gross. Nice. So they're, they're nasty little things. Yeah. Craft secure. All right. Do the giant isopods that they have? Oh, Snickers! Oh my God! What, <gasps> Dave? Oh, and <laughs> Milky Ways, even or Three Musketeers. <laughs> I don't like Three Musketeers. How many Musketeers? Um, I also don't like Milky Ways. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, they can't bite choosing the, hand the that Snickers you and all those things. <laughs> That's why I'm choosing the Snickers. Because <laughs> you're not a beggar. Because I am a chooser. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a Giggles? Thank you. Thank Choose you. to be happy, Steph. That's all I can say. Aww. I don't think I've ever had a Three Musketeers. Oh, this is great. This is fireworks behind Remy Ratatouille great. <laughs> Where he puts the little cheese and the bread together and, mm -hmm. and eats them. Dave, can you pass it to the front row? Thank you. Thank you. I vote Dave for watch MVP. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> Buying my way in. <laughs> yeah. And zooming your way in. Speaking about isopods and parasites, some, some I don't know if you know there are some isopods that parasite the um, tongue of the fish, mm -hmm. and they suck the blood mm -hmm. and eat the flesh and uh, the the flesh until the whole tongue is repli replaced by the isopod. The Why tongue is replaced by the isopod. Yeah, yeah. There's stories of like fishermen catching fish that will have isopod tongues. Wow. I've seen um, photos and videos of that on social media as well. It's quite creepy looking. Yeah, yeah. Steve was telling us they made a horror movie about it. There are isopods that um, parasite as well squat lobsters. The other day we collected one with a um, parasitic isopod. And it was so deformed that we call it Quasimodo. <laughs> Did Morongo want another? You want I'll, more? I'll take a Snickers. Thank you, Dave. <coughs> what is You're some, welcome. What are some good Canadian candies that we can't get in the States? Oh, Smarties. Henry. The coffee well, I ones. Oh, Henry's. Oh, you can't? Yeah. You can't? Oh, ew. Well, that, he said good. The coffee <laughs> Somebody ones. Somebody mentioned the coffee crisp. I hate I them. Love you hate coffee crisp? crisp. Really? Disgusting. Oh, always oh. have, always will. Well, American oh, Smarties <laughs> and Canadian Smarties are different candies, That's aren't what I'm they? saying. You can't get Canadian Smarties again. Score bars. Or in I don't like score bars. They're amazing. But I have a huge bag of them in my fridge. I told Stephanie <laughs> she needs to try the Score McFlurry next time she goes oh, to yeah. Canada. That's a good one. It's the best flavor. Hear that, Cassie? If you're listening, we... When you take me to Canada next, I'll get a score McFlurry. <laughs> we gotta go to McDonald's. Uh, is Mr. Big in the No, States? we don't have it. There's a swimming crinoid in the... Um, there is. Let's see him on the crinoid, please. Oh, wow. What about Eat More? It's making its way downtown. <laughs> Another one of the ombre ones. Oh, oh. oh. Latch that right was a, on. Wow, that was a quick stop. It knows what it's doing. Yeah, yeah this was the first one. Nice shots, you know. Yeah. No kidding. See how beats play out. So huh? gorgeous. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of...
Canadian candy in my fridge. I like the Wonder Bars too. Or not the Wonder Bars. Are they the Wonder Bars? There's like a purple Viking helmet on it. I don't know. Do you have caramel milk? No. Those are good. Hmm. Crunchy bars. The crunchies were good. Bounty. I like bounty as well. Ah, uh, the quicker towel. picker upper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really. You Are you know? looking for a really bland snack? <laughs> Leela's got to keep the got to keep the paper towels locked up in the wet lab. <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> just eating it. It's kind of like tofu, where you could like submerge it in some sort of sauce. No. <laughs> No, yeah. Bounty is chocolate-covered um, coconut. Can we zoom in on this one, please? Oh, that, we have, do you have Almond Joy? Or Mounds. Or Mounds, yeah. 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 I guess it, it's like Mounds, closer to Mounds, if Mounds has nothing but coconut inside. Anything from Purdy's Chocolates? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had Caramilk. It was really good. Yeah, I'm looking it up now. Please, All right, no. thank you. Didn't we talk please, about this already? No the Canadian versus American chocolate. We did up on um, the monkey deck one night. Oh, that was on the monkey deck. And um, Hershey's has its own Canadian same, brand. Same, same, please. So that's Thanks. why there's so many different ones in Canada than in the U.S. What about Kit Kats? Aren't there like a ton of different Kit Kats in countries outside of the U.S.? I mean, we have regular Kit Kat, there different sizes. Matcha how and Sekiro. How do you eat Kit Kat? Do you... Take oh. every little uh, bar, or you? I you know, I like break apart the bars, and then what I'll do is I'll take my teeth and split them in half. Interesting. Yeah. Like in half, like like horizontal. Like, like layers. Like layers. De yeah. Delaminate them. Yeah, I do that with goldfish too. So when there's a religious bar splitter around, I will bite the whole thing. No. All the bars at once, and I just just to see the reaction. It's hilarious. <laughs> That's <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> Trevor, do you bite your ice cream too? Uh, I can now. I used to not be able to, but oh, now I can. Oh, just give me the well, heebie-jeebies. I, I like the arrow bars too. Yeah, but with the bubbles. Yeah. Those are good. Oh, I don't like arrow. What is a a big Turk? <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, yeah. I, I I always see them. I never get them. They look. They got, is that green on the outside? It's chocolate. It's in in Japan, they have lots and lots of Kit Kat bars. Yeah, different Japan. flavors, all kinds of wacky flavors. They like strawberry Kit Kats in Japan. Yeah. yeah. If you go to like a like an H Mart or like a Mitsuwa market, yeah, um, they'll have like all the like they'll have a couple different fancy Kit Kat flavors. There was like a weird Kit Kat um, in Canada that I bought too. It was like a double stuffed or something. Hmm. Not a fan of double stuffed items. There's enough stuffing. Wait, so do you not like double stuffed Oreos? I don't even like normal Oreos. <gasps> I scrape the icing out. What about the Oreos thins that were out the other day? Those are nice. Yeah. Because okay. that's the right amount of icing. And even that is like a little bit too much icing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Not a fan of icing. Well, mm -hmm. a taste. But I scrape it off of cakes and cupcakes as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I actually oh. like. Is that a ton of cops? Yeah, yeah ton of cops. Oh, it's a baby. It's running. Come back here. Heart-shaped <laughs> circle on the ton of cops. I, I actually like stale Oreos. Oh. Can we zoom in yeah. on the stale Oreo, please? <laughs> <laughs> is it turning red? Oh, yeah, is it's it like blushing? it's starting. Its fins are starting to turn red. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a it's a, <laughs> it's a teenager, middle schooler, teenager. <laughs> Awkward stage. I love how it swims with the little leggies out. That's so cute. You know, the facial expression it's making with its eyes looks very teenager to me. Yeah. Looks like how I walk through a dark room. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in for a landing. It's so cute. All right, I'm going the wrong way. Bye. 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 Oh. Oh. Right on the right on the porch cam. Swim right underneath us. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, chat. I've been neglecting you guys. Poor chat. <laughs> Distracted by the chocolate. <sighs> well, the, now they're talking about chocolate. Do ketchup chips count? As candy? No. Not as candy. Like but Canadian they specialty They are food. the best. Also, we call them chocolate bars, not candy bars. Yep. Well, yeah. We. I mean, we. We specified chocolate bars too, but. Are there non-chocolate candy bars? Um. Yeah. Taffy. Uh, taffy, maybe. What a bit of honey? Payday. That's not chocolate. Yeah. All dressed chips are yeah. better than ketchup chips, yeah, in my opinion. Way better. I think yeah. it's pretty universal. What all are, dressed what chips are the best. Them? All dressed chips. Hmm. Canada's pride and joy. All dressed? Everyone seems to know about ketchup chips, mm -hmm. but all dressed is the... It's funny, the things that Canada's popular for are the things that are like second or third place in popularity in Canada. Yeah. Everyone talks about A being the Canadian slang, and everyone, wow, everyone says A. It's like, okay, well, not really that much. Not it's, not a, it's not as ubiquitous as toque. Oh, yeah. There are a lot more people that say the word toque and know the word toque and use that regularly well, than there are people. Toque is a winter hat. You don't use anything else. You don't use anything else, but that's less known outside of Canada. Everyone associates A as being the most Canadian slang. I would say toque is the most Canadian slang. I, I agree. I will say with my sister-in-law, I first met her when she was like living with my brother in the States, and she never said A. Yeah, and a lot of people And then I went to visit her in Canada with her family, and it was like A, 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 like every two seconds. It also depends on where you're from in Canada, because Canada's a really big land mass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are a like lot of different on? popular yes, things across the nation. Yeah, I mean, not everyone from the U.S. Took, has what the does same that mean? accent. Is it normal, like yeah. I'll tell you in a sec. Zoom in, please. Okay. Just like uh, the South, you know, sometimes says y'all. Chris uh. Gorgia. With an yeah. associate. Yeah. Europe Tychus. Yeah. With a squat associate. <laughs> and the, there is like uh, the, um, the X masses. Oh, cool. So this is, these uh, are egg masses potentially from fishes. All right, thank you. What was your question? Yeah, like souk. You said this is slang in Canada. Like, what's, what's you know, thing? a hat has no brim. It's warm. It's for winter. It's like knitted. Yeah, oh. it's a toque. Like, yeah, like a beanie. Ski, yeah. A yeah. beanie or a it's ski cap or yeah. a knitted thing. Stocking cap. Yeah. Everyone in Canada will call it a toque, whether they're old or young, whether they're East Coast or West Coast, North, South, you know, from Canada or immigrant, it doesn't matter. Everyone calls it a toque. It's just what it is. <laughs> I think That's good to know. A yeah. has become a more prominent stereotype, though, because it's not referring to anything. It's just like a filler word. Yeah, but it's not very common. I mean, I say it probably more than the average Canadian, and I don't say it all that often compared to the stereotype. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's why it's a stereotype. <laughs> right. I mean, if you talk about, like, American accents, the stereotype is that we say dude and, and y'all and howdy all the time, or right? Or this, yeah, the southern, like, the deep southern You're accent. You're all Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Yanks. Oh, uh, <laughs> chat's bringing up bagged milk. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, Ontario. That's a Ontario. Ontario's in Quebec, Canada Quebec thing. Quebec. What is that? It's, they have Our milk comes in bags because it's the best way to package it. You used to be able to get it in BC, but not, not anymore. <laughs> you buy um, a bag that contains three bags that are one liter each, so three liters in a bag. <laughs> you put it in your little plastic uh, jug, jug yeah. pour. Cut the corner. Yeah, and sometimes you cut the other corner so it doesn't glug. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, a, that's a hot tip. Sim, 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 <laughs> They're also these. really good for storage because you can freeze them. Freeze the ones you're not using and then thaw them out. Yeah. yeah. That was a childhood staple. Don't get those anymore, living yeah. on the West Coast. So I had them growing up on the West Coast, but they petered out. They were just weren't as popular. We can zoom on that if you'd like. Yep, please. Okay, go ahead, Dave. I guess if you don't have a designated milk pitcher, it could get really messy. Yeah, you need a pitcher. Pitcher is definitely the right word. You got to buy it. Everybody buys the pitcher. You only buy one, though. Yeah. Every single time, buying more plastic. Um, 
This could be different. Okay, come wide, please. We're going to sample it. Yes. Okay. All right. Ooh. Surprise or okay. um. How am I going to... Can you come double super extra wide for a sec, please? See what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to come down on Delta? No, I just got to come over this side, I think. Could we reuse? Yeah. If you want to, yeah. So, because I want to uh, save a space for the next hmm? watches. You or me? Sure thing. Uh, I don't really care. Whichever one you think is better. That's a terrible thing to say. Um, <laughs> oh, auto-heading, that's why I'm If you think that garbage. the opportunity yeah, is there's no coral, decent, so go for it. you can reuse okay. it. As long as they don't fight or anything like that. No. <laughs> Because if we're under a lot of pressure, like we're always under a lot of pressure. Oh, it's the nature okay. of Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're 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 two thousand meters underwater. I sure hope so. Like, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we aren't. You know, in camaraderie with Herc, we are. Camaraderie. We going for jar four? Is that correct? We're gonna go for number one and put it in with the other squat. Oh Am I ready goodness to gracious! Start okay. The craft? Yeah. Number yeah, I wanna one. save a space for the other. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> I don't even see anything. Oh, there he is. Yeah. It's, it's the big one. Or no, it the was big a one's small in two. One. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, no, eat, eat each other otherwise. I think the big one's in <laughs> one. You big one's in two. Yeah, you can see the big one right there in two. Is that not the big That's one? That's two. No, the, the one over the left is a big one. Oh, I thought. Okay. So the best advice is to slurp the. Squatty from behind, if possible. So we'll once you get closer there, we can have another zoom, and then see if we can sneak up behind them. Hello. Oof. So what was happening there was the fingertips were on the metal oh, plate. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thank you. Uh, can we get a bit of a zoom? cannot tell where the front or the back of this thing is. Ooh. As you get closer, I'll come left a little. Okay, this panning way. left. This is cool. Yeah, you're going the correct way. I'm ready for suction. Let's go. Let's go now. What the heck? Okay. Roger. Look this. It's around the far side of it. You want to come up and... Yeah, it'll be that one there. Nope, oh, sorry. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> Where'd he go? See him? I see him. Hmm. It's really in there. Yeah. Right in the center of it. Yeah. Oh, this is different for sure. The um, species. It's got ghost eyes. <coughs> I, I feel like a lot of them do. You think that would help? No. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really Can I come around this yeah, way? Yeah, that side, yeah, great. Tip. Oh my gosh, smack in the middle. Yeah, uh, like, the angle is tight. Yeah. Maybe I'll try and come from the top. Is that a bad idea? Yeah, it might work. You got 30 seconds. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> Lobster, come on. They pin him against the rock or something? Given nothing. Can we zoom out? Okay, let's go. Oh, rats. That was a stubborn sure. one. Nope. Can you uh, drop the hose? Roger. And turn the craft off. Just like that. Don't need to sew it. Thank you. <coughs> and come up on winch. Should have done a snip and slurp, I think. Oh, look at these tracks. It's weird. On the rocks? Mm. 
Hmm. Is this okay for Delta? I'm still going to be coming up for a while Roger. here. So it's fine, but keep it there. Paula, I'm sorry I couldn't get your lobster. No worries. You can't win them all. There's plenty more out there. There's a lot. <laughs> there is a lobster. There is a, a lobster. lobster. I like where you're going with that. A lobster. Lo lots, lots more stir. Lobster. Yes, yeah, it's, not, it's hard one. A lobster. A lobster. <laughs> um, I believe the chat's asking if that's like a, a parasite on the eyes or a normal coloration. It's normal for them. Yeah. Yes. Oh, apparently bagged milk is also a thing in India. Hmm. Go India. Uh, and the chat's also saying you guys call your coins funny names in Canada? No, we call them normal names. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by it. Loonies and toonies. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the one in the $2 coin. Yeah. What is this? Uh, Have any idea? We, we can look at the next one. Okay. I'm almost out in front there. now, yeah. not quite. Yeah, you got to figure we call ours dimes and nickels. What's that? It's true. Penny? Quarter makes sense. You don't have penny. The penny no longer exists in Canada. Yeah. We got sure. rid of it. It wasn't useful anymore. No. <laughs> Isn't it like I think they cost more to make in the States than they're, they're worth or something like that? I what think so. They had a what? They had a half penny before a hay penny before. Hay um, penny. And when they got rid of that, it was worth more than the nickel is now. So there's really no reason to hang on to the penny. We're good for Delta. Yep. Pennies also smell weird. I'm not really <laughs> a fan of them. I've never put them up to my nose. Like that's oh. a lie. I probably right, can have. you stow the hose, please? They just give off a Roger. smell. You don't have to get that close to them to smell. Are it. yours copper? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not the new ones. No, <laughs> the newest it? ones. The old ones. The old ones were yeah. And then they grow like a weird film, a weird black film. <laughs> so you can just nuzzle the top. Uh, the this part. You press on the bungee. Oh, is that a? Cucumber. Big one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice. Another one of those. Make sure you get it as tangled up as possible. Yeah, no, <laughs> I got a knack for that, huh? Part of it. I think it's called macrame. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Can we get a zoom out on the Zeus a little bit? Double super mega extra wide. Thank you. I can also do this. Back it up. It is a nice thing about the coral cutters is they have the kind of dish shape on the end. You can put the bungee between it. We <coughs> can you can push on the hose too. Same, 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 please. Make sure you don't Thanks. push too hard or whatever. <coughs> Meanwhile, let's look at the sponge and cinema cam. Someone from Australia in the chat says they understand the uh, the accent thing that, you know, they don't all say mate. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you they do, eh? They definitely don't say shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> they totally do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Give you a little more of that. Sure. They get it up and over a little bit more. Then it will be more conducive to pushing. A lot of these trado plurals up go. here, and demo sponges. <laughs> hose, hose, go. Press on the very, very tip of this. Oh, that works too. Great, yeah. Oh, 
Coast. Also, Trevor, I noticed when you said ketchup, you said ketchup. Is that a West Coast thing? Ketchup. 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 Yeah, ketchup? Some, sometimes it's spelled two different ways. I've seen oh. catsup and ketchup. I spell it ketchup. Yeah. I I've never it. seen it, so I feel like no, I'm I, being baited. No, I see C A T S U P. Yeah, I don't spell it that really? way, but it's yeah. definitely a oh. way to spell it. Yeah. Interesting. I think I say ketchup. Yeah. yeah. Touchy sponge instead cool. of ketchup. Yeah, I say ketchup. It's 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 a lot like sub dog. What? Sub dog? <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time today. But what am I doing? What are you doing? I don't know. All right. There we go. Okay, I got it figured out. Nice. A little bit of a spatial challenge today. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's like no matter how many times you use the arm, you still have good days and bad days. A lot of chat <laughs> questions about the chat today. So the chat I'm talking about is just the right, uh, questions and comments you're writing in on uh, nautiluslive.org. You can't chat with each other. I can just read them to you. Oh, I agree about the, the newbie accent in one of the chats. I worked there up there one summer doing field work, and it was interesting trying to understand. Wait, what's newbie? It's a derogatory term for new Oh. Is it really derogatory? Yeah. Oh. Is it really? Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't mean that. No, most don't. Most don't know that it's derogatory. I didn't know until a uh, Newfoundlander told me that. It's like, hey, don't call me that. That's actually <laughs> offensive. I'm like, oh, Roger, never again. It's not that offensive. It's just. It's just they don't like it. It's impolite. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. You learn something new yeah. every day. I think if people say it without knowing, it's harmless. But as soon as you know, then you just don't say it anymore. It's called learning. We have a different coral here. You can zoom on that. That's in a second. Stand by. From the Ooh, diversity we are seeing in this live. Uh, okay, let's have uh, ooh, zoom <laughs> on that, please. <laughs> With the brittles. Wow. Annoyed. Probably uh, Calyptrophora? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thanks. There's these big, like, ball things on the on the coral. I think uh, that word is similar to, like, redneck, where if someone, if someone uses yeah. that term, it's uh, usually I'm derogatory. Uh, but well, some people say that about themselves. Like, I'm I was a redneck. Say, you know, I, I, think, I think some redneck, like, People identify like people to identify as regular. Yeah, totally, right? That, and, yeah. and that's fine. You can do whatever you like, but uh, a lot of the time it's used derogatorily, but not always. So it's just it, you gotta yeah. be careful. It could be used as an insult to people yeah. that might not be identif like identifying as regular. Yeah, exactly. And it's so it's not a super harsh insult, but it can be used in that way. Yeah. That's my understanding, anyway. It is. Oh, for it is those who identify themselves as redneck, what's the meaning of that? Like What's the meaning of that? Yeah. It's like complicated and depends on where you live. In Canada, it means something different than the States, for instance, and even then, it depends where you are. Okay. It's a stereotype, um, I yeah. would say. I see. I'm learning a lot of things from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> It is on my bucket list to get back up to Newfoundland, too. Beautiful, beautiful oh, province, God. yeah. And so friendly. Yeah, the East Coast is lovely. The East Coast is amazing for that, oh. yeah. I spend a lot of time on Cape Breton Island as well oh, in yeah. Nova Scotia. Beautiful. Can we zoom? Yes, we can. Yes. Go ahead, Dave. Coral? Or uh, one of those call-up things. Probably Cardiophilidae. Kelp coral? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. 
one of my favorite stories when I was up in Newfoundland was uh, we were driving a, a rental van doing our, our research and it got a flat tire and uh, we didn't have the special lug nut key to get off it. Oh no. So uh, we, were, we were having trouble and the, uh, a Mountie came by. The Royal Canadian Mountain Police came by and was looking at it and said, well, I can shoot it off. <laughs> <laughs> He was incredibly helpful, but he ended up having like an eight-foot pry bar in the back of his car, and he took this pry bar and just plugged up the lug nut, and we were wow. able to change the tire. <laughs> Comes in handy to have an eight-foot. <laughs> There's a star in that little divot. Divot star. Which divot? Uh, straight above the lasers, I believe. All yep. right, let's have a look. Looks uh, like a cozy home. Right. Go ahead and zoom, please. Oh, nice. Nice. Star. Off your right. Yep. They're skinny arms. Yeah. Um, there's a question in the chat. I'm watching the quad okay, thank view. You. I'm watching the quad view and wondering what scale, what's the scale on the map? Um, I don't know what map is up on the quad view. If well, Dave knows. You should be able to see it there. It's uh, generated on shore, and so I'm not sure. It's a different map than what we see here on the ship. I'm actually just going to look on the quad view. <gasps> can you do that? I can pull up nautiluslab.org <gasps> and look at the quad view. Oh. <gasps> There's uh, Snickers bars left here. Um, I'm okay. Does anyone in the back row want another Snickers? I have one, please. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay, Dave. Thanks, thanks. thanks. Thank you. Thank you for feeding us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, the third time we've been fed. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Thank Anybody? You. I'm good. Um, sorry, chat. I'm not sure what the scale is. It's also really blurry for me. It's a Google Earth. Earth. Watch out for it. Why do we form yeah. sugar? <laughs> So it's, it's probably uh, several, maybe even 10 degrees across. Cool. Another Christ the Gorge, yeah. We're kind of back to seeing what we normally see in terms primnoid. of bio. Yeah, primnoid. With a pheroid. Associates. Why do so many animal names end in oid? Oid. Oidia. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Gia or oid. Um. Because there are um, specifically a suffix for the names of the families and superfamilies of the animals. For instance, superfamily uh, ends always with oidea. For instance, uh, galaceoid, galaceoidea, and um, for the short we say galaceoids, or uh, kirostiloidea, and we say kirostiloids, ophiroidea, we say ophiroids, okay. and so on. It's, it's kind of like a scientist accent, right? Like instead of A, it's oid. <laughs> I love the sponge sound. Mm -hmm. It's cool. A lot of dead ones in this area. Is that yeah. a Brazinga to the left, or yep. a where? Or no, it's a. I, I saw coral. one. Uh, shrimp. Shrimp. Ooh, look More at those big sponges. hold fast things. Yeah, Trevor, I think the the oid is uh, in Latin is uh, resembling or like. Okay. So it's like, ophi like. 
<laughs> Whatever OV is. Some names doesn't have any uh, meanings, you know? Yep. Like... Mm, like Paula. Some, like Paula. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rob, would these be like really big pillows? Yeah, these are big pillows. So if there's something resembling Paula, it would be a Pauloid? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. It's a small Farea. It's been a while since you've seen a Farea. There was another one to like the right before, too. In the cinema cam or in the I hurt cam? I believe it was in the cinema cam. I don't. I, I think it was in the cinema cam. Yeah. I haven't. I don't really count what's in the cinema cam unless it shows up in the hurt cam because I can't get photos of it unless. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it was in the hurt cam. I didn't look. Well, this is a, a quick watch. We have ten more minutes here. A lot the of good action today. It was good. The watch was as long as it always has been. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And no one got the word of the day. It's I didn't have one. one. I'm sorry, everybody. Mm. Another fair day? Yeah. That means everybody got the word of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It was pick your own word day. The only person <laughs> that <laughs> uh, I want a sticker. <laughs> Dave, you're the only one that hasn't gotten a word. I That's because I don't try. <laughs> and I tried to, I tried to like give you one, you know. Dave uh, shouldn't have to get a word. He's sorry. been feeding us. That's true. Okay, you get a sticker because no, of your, no, no, your no. fruit. <laughs> I mean, you do get a sticker anyway. I'm doing um, that just sorry, to. Sorry, everybody. Doing um, that just to make sure everybody could, gets. Could we do a treat. one of the last zooms <laughs> of our watch? Is there in a this? In the there a spot on the of this? Uh, the big one? Yeah. Can you zoom in on the base, please? In the base, no, in the um, in the top. Yeah, I know. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the full mod. This is where Trevor likes to show off. Oh, yeah. beautiful. He's very I good know at that this. one. Ooh, look at that. That one's a Faria oc Octa Erecta. And a dead Treptoplera. Great, great cinema can Two squats and a shrimp. Where Two squats and a shrimp. Two squats and a shrimp. Oh, Two hello. Two squats and a shrimp. The big, oh, oh. Look at that. Can we yeah. get it a little tighter in the squats? Yeah. Heck yeah. I, I, can keep oh, it. I like the two squats. Two squats on the genus Minidopsis. That one? Kuchwani, described from Mariana Trench. Uh, this species seems to love these hydroids, so we are always finding them near the hydroids or near dead corals. Are they eating the hydroids? I don't know. We don't know. It, that one has bigger That's claws big. than the one on top, is it? Yeah, the male and female maybe? they probably or are male and female. Squat Very cool. So thank you so much. It's their lobster. You think they're getting married? They're in love, <laughs> sir. <laughs> From friends. All right, thanks. Well done. Thank you. That was a good flag. Yes. <laughs> we're on a high note for once. Yeah. Someone in the chat <laughs> asked, what are those dancing corn dogs at the bottom? <laughs> I guess you weren't here for the beginning. Those are the so wedding guests. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy um, dressed corn dogs. Yeah, those those are sponges that we, we also thought looked like corn dogs. They're demo sponges. Mm -hmm. If we sampled one, we're going to fry it up later and try it. <laughs> There's another <laughs> squat on that sponge ball. Another squat yeah. lobster. Mm -hmm. I mean, it adopts this. It's same, yeah. Got 20. Plenty of mustard. Yeah. I'm doing caps. I don't know if you're Oh, them. OK. Yeah, if they're not in Herc, then I can't get okay. them. But if you do the caps, then I'll do the wording. OK. Yeah. Perfect. We each know. Another one? Another one. Man, these and things are all one. over the place. And another one. And another one. There's are three, three of them on are this one. Are these dying sponges, though? But yes. they are uh, They are near the hydroids, see? Mm -hmm. Actually, let's hold position. Roger, hold position. 
Oui, you know. Well, look at these lava flows here. Interesting moonscape. Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Lava flows, moonscape. How far are we from waypoint for the, two? For the handover. Okay, yeah, we about are about uh, 135 meters away. Thank you. You're welcome. What time is this dive over? I forgot to look. Uh, I think t noon. 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 Okay. Can we on track for that? I think we made up a good time here. Okay. Yeah, today was amazing, huh? Yeah, I mean, when we started the first 45 minutes, just sitting at the uh, saddle. That's true, yeah. Had to go backwards. Going backwards is the slowest thing ever. So we All that, and there are tons of those sporals. Yeah. The conjures. We haven't mm. seen a sporal in a hot minute, I though. Ever seen it? Bazinga. All right, video's changing out over here. Roger. Roger. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Dave. Have a good night. Thank you, Dave. Last chance for Snickers bars. I'm okay. Yeah, thank you, okay, Dave. Thank though. you. They fueled me. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> the corn dog. Oh wow, there was a echo there. The corn dog chatter was <laughs> wants to hopefully one day be invited to a squat lobster wedding and to dance with the corn dog sponges. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful! I know. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Another uh, one. Just salt water. it up this evening. <laughs> yeah. It could be. Hello from Banos. Hey, Hello. Banos. Hello. Hello. How are you this fine evening? I'm good. Great. great. How was your uh, dive? How was your watch? Anything great. very crazy. interesting? <laughs> yeah. We found a woodfall. Nice. Super cool. A logged log, if you would. Coral's funny looking. Yeah, what is that? Is that the pink thing? Is the that the pink a thing? On the right here? Yeah. yeah. We can zoom in on it, please. A bamboo? It looks less yeah. funny looking in this It's a bamboo. We have seen, like, unbranched and internodal bamboo curls. Is that internodal or is that nodal? Nodal. Yeah, it looks, it looks nodal. Okay, thank you. Come wide. Cool. Great. gorgeous city over here. Which one's that? The pink fluffy ones. That the squats have been in? Yep. It is quite a gorgeous city yeah. over here. Beautiful. Shrimp. Shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp. We're looking oh. at photos of the woodfall. That you just took? Yeah. Ooh. Did you, were you able to get a picture of like the whole thing? Yeah. Lots. Nice. We have lots of good food. That's a unit of a shrimp. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. It was an <laughs> absolute <laughs> unit. It was huge. It was like maybe eight centimeters. Was it a swimming shrimp? No, it was crawling <laughs> along the ground. No, they're called swimming shrimp. 
like big shrimps. There's like a species oh. called swimming shrimp, okay. which is weird because that's, all the shrimp swim. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fact check myself. Though. Check out the standing that. on oh. the standing still. Oh, there it oh, is. Shrimp oh, unit. <laughs> Can you zoom in the swimming shrimp, please? It's bigger than 10 centimeters. It can't even swim. It's too heavy. <laughs> Look at it's kicking its It's a its big fin. chonker. Was my reaction not warranted? It is. Look at its yeah. eyes. Whoa. Beady little eyes looking at us. That's that's one professional shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Shrimping expert there. Shrimping expert. Um, 12 centimeters. About. I can't look up swimming shrimp right, because when you look up swimming shrimp, you just get videos of swimming shrimp. But I'm pretty sure I've heard of them, like common name of sh swimming shrimp before. Look at this stationary sponge. <laughs> <laughs> sponge sound. I gave the shrimp an inflated rating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. You gave it a G's Louise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one level above gosh darn? <laughs> For sure. Gee willikers. What about oh wowzers? <laughs> Another animal. Ooh. 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 Jeepers me. Oh wow. If you look up large deep sea shrimp, there's a someone holding a huge shrimp. Wow, okay. Is it a little over 10 centimeters? It's yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm going to hold here. Can we get a reset <laughs> in just a moment? Sure. morning good to go uh nope but i am now yeah okay. all right thanks chat and people viewing and everybody else hello uh we are changing are over our 8 to 12 watch to our 12 to 4 watch so uh enjoy them and we'll see you in the morning
all All right. Hello. Hello. Thank you everyone for waiting for us as we switch our watches. My name is Ashley Gluckley and I am a science communication fellow on board the Nautilus and also a teacher in Louisville, Kentucky. And we are going to continue this exploration of the of this particular area. We've heard it's been pretty exciting with this woodfall that they found recently, so we're excited to see what's next. And as everybody gets settled, I'm going to let the science row introduce themselves. Um, I'm going to check in with the front row real quick first. Okay, I'm good to go. Uh, yeah, how's... Are we in the middle of a move? Is the ship holding right now? We are not moving. Okay. Uh, we can head towards waypoint two whenever everyone's ready. Okay. I don't know that we need to, like, fully hit it, hit it spot on. Sure. It's we can kind of just like curve towards waypoint three two. What kind of attitude is that? <laughs> These are just guide points, okay? Bridge now. Right. Parlay. <laughs> Parlay. Um, okay. All right. Sorry. Uh, Haisa, go ahead. Whenever you're ready. Hey, can we have five zero meters one two zero, please? Hello, everyone. Thank uh, you. Here's Haisa Hogan. I am uh, part of the science team for this watch. Um, I'm oceanographer. I work with deep sea corals, mainly sea pens and black corals. And I am here to a network of the ocean sensors. <coughs> My name is Lila Bellucci. I am splitting watch lead on this watch with Dwight, the expedition leader, and I am the science manager on this expedition. Hi, I'm Jane Carrick. I am the data logger for this watch. I will be taking notes on all the samples that we see and all of the features that we see along the way. Um, I'm a PhD student at URI, also studying coral ecology, deep sea coral ecology. And we'll con continue our introductions in the front row. Video manager, did you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Panos. I'm uh, the video engineer for this watch. Good evening. My name is Michael Valle. I am a, I'll be the Atalanta pilot. I am also a uh, physics PhD out of UCLA. So this is not necessarily my wheelhouse, but I like doing it. I've been doing it for four years now. Fun. Everybody, my name is James Barnett. I am the Herc pilot for the shift. I am not a PhD student. And that's all you get and to know. That's all you get to know. <laughs> hey, it's, it's more too than what we've been. It's I more than what we have been getting. Only have one coffee. Hey, everybody. I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator. Also, not a PhD student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have a cooler mug. I do yeah, have a I pretty like sweet mug. mug. Yeah, where'd yeah. you get that? A do they have those one year? And I just missed them. That's uh, what Renny said. I got it Shrimp. last year, like what? early wow. last season. Uh, early last season. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh. Um, <laughs> so some stuff about what we're seeing. Uh, Jane, the sponge that we're seeing a whole bunch of, a bit? that oh. they've been seeing a lot, the, the long stalked one cattail looking one. Yeah, I've been noticing these are the demosponges. Heloderma right? demosponges. Are you good, James, looking at bubble? Hyloderma, who knows? Through that, uh, on the corner over there? Yep. Because I want to change this. Not that one, that's the only yeah, one that's, that's not. not <laughs> no, I know, I know which ones you're talking about. I've been watching some <laughs> of the last watch. The ones, um, the ones that literally look like cattails yeah, yeah. in a marsh. Which, like, were, there were a lot of it, Tom, and I don't no, know. No, I know. <laughs> but they're, they're there, for sure. some Trita as well, right? Uh, yeah, they have. Um, oh. And I think we maybe have seen some other demo sponges. Yeah, that was the one that looked oh, like a coral. They were calling it a sporal, which I thought was clever. Have they collected it? Yeah, they did uh, collect one. Sponge, the I think it was this one here in Lambda. OK. That was a whole colony of, well, colony. <laughs> a whole. Uh, Quote unquote, organism. Uh, whole, a whole sporal. Wait, of this sponge? No, of oh. a w the one that 
it is shaped basically like a coral. I can try and pull oh, okay. photos. Okay. Have they collected one of the Peloderma sponges? Not yet. Actually, no, they did. I'm sorry. They did in uh, this one here, this 174. One. Okay, great. And actually, I could use a moment of your time off mic sure. for a second just to clarify something. Coming on the end of your leash. Yes, yeah. I can feel it. Who died? Can we zoom much? in there, Panos? What is that guy? I know it. There's a lot of current here. Yeah, I just, yeah. I had noticed that, uh, like, for the last couple dives, it has been getting, like, less colorful. I want to say, like, I don't want to say it was, like, colorful to begin with, like, just a bunch of different color, but it wasn't as, uh, like, uh, there was more contrast. There was more things. In the, in just, like, in the scene, in the environment. Like, not right now, everything just seems kind of blurred together. Those are the sponges that Leo yeah, was talking like about, and I agree with you, Michael. I huh? think. Can you zoom in again. Well, yeah, but like, uh, like in early dives, all the rock and sediment was just like, just not like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It popped out more, in my opinion. I think we had that one dive where the coral were just very bright. Oh yeah, uh, maybe. Man, there's a lot of current here. This is uh, yeah, interesting. Can we come wide again, please? Uh, apparently, lasers are on the fritz. So. Oh. What's wrong with the lasers? I don't know. Okay. It's just something to keep an eye out. All right. All right. They, they seem to be working. They might be. It might be like an intermittent thing. It might just be like the flicker, something. Right. But uh, just keep an eye out. Can we uh, zoom in, Panos? Squat lobster. Squat lobster? I think. That one is Always the, the Europe Tychus. Yeah, we're pretty. Yeah. We're starting to get pretty good at lobster That's ID. actually the only one I feel confident <laughs> in, in it, with any level of yeah, clarity. Yeah, I guess like, that's fair. The Chrysogorgid, they have always got that Europe Tychus squat lobster. And I'm turning mm. Beyond, though, like Chirostylid and Galatheoid. I'm like, wow. Well. Also, we are. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Not, not for you. Oh. Oh, okay then. No, that's good. Are we now? I printed so many of those things. We were just blowing through samples. Okay. Bridge nav. I'm just going to take mm. this out for now. Yep. 50120, please. please. Thank you. More of those. What are these called? These dancing. Uh, Peloderma or Pyloderma sponges. Peloderma they're sponges. demo sponges, so they're not the hexactinellid glass sponges that we see most commonly. Um,